Okay, this is my 1973 Bluebird All-American. It has a 391 Ford engine, industrial engine, an Allison automatic transmission. And the rear end has been re-geared from a 683, which is common during the time, to a 533, given the highway. This picked the speed up from 50 to 55, up to around 70. It is fast and, and quite running. Uh, the engine uh, has been rebuilt. Everything new on the inside, 30 over with the oversized valve. Mounts to more of a 460 engine. Transmission's redone. Uh, and everything new on the outside of the engine. The uh, carburetor, brand new carburetor. The distributor was upgraded from points to an electronic distributor. And, uh, well, just everything on the engine new, including the um, air pump for the air brakes. Uh, as far as the brakes go, the uh, all the air chambers had uh, new diaphragms put in it. And uh, uh, the brakes, the pads are all like new. Uh, it's just been reworked from front to rear. New exhaust system all the way back. Uh, mechanically, it's just been rebuilt uh, in less than 15,000 miles on it. And uh, uh, as far as mechanically, it, it's ready to go anywhere. Uh, as I, let me get on up here closer looking at the body. The body is in good shape. There's a little bit of a spot here where there's a little wrinkle right down here. I don't know if you can even tell where it's at. Right in this area here but I mean just nothing really notice but the clear coat as you can see is coming off and uh, look, looks rough but looks pretty good from a distance uh, this is the engine uh, I say engine compartment the battery compartment it's just uh, this little compartment and uh, regular battery for 12 volt battery um, the tires, I put these tires on new when I did the conversion. And, uh, I mean, they've got tread like a new one. I've always had them covered. But, I do, and see where I had a little bit of, a uh, little bit of cracking. Little, little minor cracks here. Uh, you can't hardly see, and I believe this driver's side front is the only one really showing anything. I don't see them on any of the other. But the paint, whenever I paint, I didn't put as much clear coat on top because I had the intention of of uh, putting a platform up there. I was going to put a seal on there, which never transpired. Started using it, just you know how you let it go. But anyway, uh, the metal, it's, it's a thick galvanized metal. The way they built them buses, they, they tough. This is the back side of the refrigerator, hot water heater, and the... Uh, uh, the furnace, they all gas powered the propane and uh, back here's the generator it's a 5k Onan I'll crank it up in the next video but uh, it runs good, no smoking and it's the water and power outlet about a 20 gallon tank and, uh, it's, it's just all it just needs repainting looks good from a distance like I said but uh, it's a slip hitch on it. This is solid. Got a little scrape here in the back. And the body is in real good shape. Other than that, it got a little scrape there that I did when I first first did it. It's got a little. It got an eight foot tail on it, and not like your coaches, and they, it'll swing on you a little bit. And I first did it, got into a mailbox, but uh, and that's a uh, where the propane tank is. All the windows been rebuilt and they're tight. Got new latches and springs. Ain't no wire, anything. And uh, I got a cargo compartment. Two of them doing it just big and open, good shape. As you see, the latches they pull from the side and they latch on both sides. That right one's a little sticky, and I just keep all my stuff in it where. I don't have to get to and I just slide it in from the left side really. Let's clean the hatch up, be just fine. Uh, but anyway, uh, here's another shot of the front tire. Let's see if I can get you a shot of uh, and this tire looks like it's got a few little cracks in it, but if you look at the tread, 
and this thing got tread on it just like a new one. But anyway, I'm showing a few little cracks around on them. Uh, I personally would run them unless I was going to be running the road hard. Uh, the air conditioners are carrier units. They're new carrier units that I put on there. Um, I converted this thing with a 34-foot leg row and air conditioners wouldn't work. I ended up buying new air conditioners for it. Uh, but mechanically, bus great shape. And uh, I'm ready to go. I hate to get rid of them. I'm just not using it. And it's been sitting for quite some time now. And it's just time to go. So,